Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful DM to DF reading. I do hope that you're all well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in what you already know. So I'm going to be using the silence deck to start the reading today um, from beautiful Liz from Guided by Angels to see you know what your divine masculine wants to show and express and i know that this is really special if you are experiencing silence and there is no contact and you just don't know what's going on even that your ego thinks it doesn't know what's going on but you do know what's going on because you know what's going on within you because whatever's going on within you your divine masculine experiences and works through as well so let's see and even if you're in some kind of challenge at the moment with your twin and they're still wearing their mask but they're not being their true authentic self with you that is silence as well so again put it into your situation so what is it the divine muskins would love to share and express to you right now in this moment of this reading i just wanted to make you aware as well um that somebody is pretending to be me so i've had to turn the comments off on the short videos i done that on the main videos um some time ago because there was a lot of um scamming going on um so <clears throat> i hope you understand i uh, hopefully i will be able to turn them on again soon but if there is something you want to share with me and you want to feel connected to me my email is in the description box down below so what is it the divine muslims want to share and express to you nice clear message I'm finding myself, yeah, I'm finding myself. That's what's going on in the silence. So that's really important. <laughs> You're finding yourself as well, Divine Feminines. I'm spending time outside, sorry, outdoors. <laughs> so I'm finding myself and I find it so supportive when I go outside. That's where I feel in tune with myself and feel so in tune with God. Um, and... You inspire me to change my life, yeah. You inspire me to change my life by finding myself, to, to, to find out who I truly am. Not what I've been told what I am. For me to work that out for myself, for me to be true. <laughs> to be the unconditional love that I am. Without any beliefs or anything, just for me to be. And I find it so soothing to be outside, going into nature. Why do you want me? So that's something that, you know, bothers them, that they have to work through. That's why they're having to find themselves. They need to find out that reason for themselves. Why do you want me? It's brought this fear up within them. That they're like, however it, they were perceiving themselves before, how they felt about themselves before, it wasn't enough. They didn't feel good enough for you. So the way that they've dealt with this is by pushing you away or wearing a mask or just making out you know there's some there's somebody else when you actually can see through to their soul what who they truly are so that th they um hide who they are to you know in front of you because they don't want to get hurt because they they, they think that you're going to get fed up with them or you're going to get um you're, you're going to hurt them reject them abandon them abandon them so they're dealing with those wounds in this time outside finding themselves as well making peace with themselves giving unconditional love to themselves learning to soothe themselves and not to rely on out things outside of them to make them feel content and to know that they are good enough and to make peace with this they wouldn't question this if they felt good enough and at the bottom of the deck is i will unblock you soon yeah I will unblock you soon when I've found myself. Know that I'm not, you know, I'm not having a whale of a time and forgetting about you. I'm working through things. I'm making peace with myself. Learning to give unconditional love to myself. But you inspire me to make the changes. I want to be able to give you my all. I want to know why you want me myself without relying on anything outside of me you need me to tell me that i'm good enough for you to compliment me um so that's very powerful and you being you 
and that feeling that you get when you're with your twin as well you feel so alive you feel as if you can you can achieve all your dreams and so you can feel you can, you can do anything because the love that you're feeling and that's who you truly are and that's what they're finding within themselves that you know that feeling without you know thinking it's to do with a physical person so when they do come back or when they do show you that their true authentic self this relationship is going to be so different because they're they're taking responsibility of themselves they're not going to be behaving by protecting themselves thinking underneath it well why do you want me they're just going to be so authentic real because they don't need to put a letter over their heart because they're feeling it enough they're feeling whole so that's beautiful isn't it so i'm going to use um goodies deck next as well for this reading this bright orange happy joyful deck with the powerful messages <laughs> So what is it the divine masculine would love to show and express? What's going on in this silence? What is it they're working through? What is it they want you to know, divine feminines? Nice, clear message, please. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. There's lots flipping all over the place. There's one that's come under the... Moving out of the shadow. Yeah, I'm moving out of the shadow because I'm finding myself. Because <clears throat> we have to deal with the shadow side. Let's see. But they're moving away from this. You are you are unique and beautiful. They want you to know you are unique and beautiful. And they're like, can you believe how beautiful... They, they ask themselves, can't believe it. Can you believe how beautiful my divine feminine is? Why would you want me for? <laughs> and that's what you could be doing as well, divine feminines. Where you're like... Well, would they really want me? Even though that you're the one that feels as if, you know, you just want them to come back and, you know, you feel as if you're ready for this relationship and you want to give so much to your divine masculine. Underneath, underlying, there's this thing, why do you want me? Where there's insecurities within you as well. That, you know, because this person that comes into your life, you love them so much and you want to be the best. You want to be, you want to give them the, 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 everything. Maybe there's something, you know, that's within you where you, you're thinking, why would they ever want me for? <laughs> it breaks my heart to see you suffer. It does break their heart to see you suffer. They don't want to see you suffer. Um, and then they ask themselves, you know, after all my behaviour and what I've said and what I've done, whatever that's gone on in your situation, why would you want me? <laughs> Why would you want me after, you know, you've been suffering? That's the kind of thing that goes through um, their heads, what they have to work through. I want to feel peace with you. Yeah, they're longing to feel peace with you. And these cards are very similar as well. And at the bottom of the deck, we have purify your mind. It will purify mine. Yes, as I always say to you, when you're, you know... <laughs> being true and whatever you're doing for yourself you're doing for your divine masculine and you're both learning in this preparation of what's going on in your journey right now it, it, that you are purifying your mind that's what you're doing and you're learning to come from soul and they just want this peace with you they want they don't want you to suffer they don't want to suffer anymore and they can't believe how unique how different you are you're just you're something else. They've never come across anybody like you before. You're so beautiful and unique. And <laughs> moving out of the shadow. Yeah, they're moving out of this shadow. They are purifying their mind because you're purifying your mind. That's how you know what's going on with your divine muscle because what you're doing for yourself, divine feminines. Everything that I'm sharing with you, you know this anyway. I'm just supporting what you already know um, of what your divine, you know, what your the physical person's actually doing because you're doing it yourself. You could be spending time outdoors in nature because that's where you feel in tune with self and with God. You're finding yourself by you 
um, having these, you know, whatever it's making you feel, you know, triggers that your divine masculine is silence or whatever challenge it is that's going on. That's you finding yourself. That's you learning about who you truly are and coming away from, you know, what's going on in your head, those nasty thoughts or the actions that maybe you've been taking in your life that's been coming with from conditioned love and from fear. But yeah, <laughs> so I really do hope it resonates and confirmed with you what you already know. Hope you all have an amazing weekend, whatever you've got going on. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And if you'd like any support on your journey, just email me. All the services I offer is in the description box down below. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul say?